What's new in the April build of official AOSP extended ROM version 8.1 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in the April build of official AOSP extended ROM based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. The first change you will notice is that the security patch is of course from April 2021. The kernel they are using is Shiva's no-name kernel build is from April 24th and SE Linux is of course set as enforcing. Next up if you go into settings and battery you will see that they have added smart charging. Once you enable the toggle you can configure your stop and start trigger level and in case you want to reset the battery statistics after reaching the user defined charging level you have a toggle for that as well now those of you who want to know how to install this rom have a look at the features of previous build we do have separate videos for those which can be found in the description of this video next change you will find is if you go into settings and display you will see that they have added live display so you can now configure your color profiles you have a bunch of different options for that then you can also change the rgbs and in case you do not like your current setup feel free to reset and go back to the default values similarly you can also change your hue saturation intensity and contrast and again you do have a reset button over here as well now before you ask me can you dirty flash this rom from the previous build the answer to that is yes you can dirty flash but you cannot switch between the vanilla and gapps variant without having to do a clean flash so in short dirty flash is only possible if you're updating from vanilla to vanilla and from gapps build to gapps build those of you who are using vanilla build there's another change you do have call recording enabled in the stock dialer again call recording is enabled only in the stock dialer then those of you who want call recording for google dialer we do have a separate video for that as well which can be found in the description of this video next change is that you can also now hide the pill at the bottom so you'll go into settings extensions navigation navigation bar system navigation make sure you are using the gesture navigation go into settings and bam here it is you have a toggle to hide the pill gesture nav bar and as you can see it is no longer visible let me enable it and bam there it is the gesture nav bar is now back then if you press and hold on the home screen empty space go into styles and wallpapers for starters if you update your applications from the play store you will get the new earth day wallpapers in the curated culture section however if you go into clock you will notice they have added a bunch of different lock screen clocks the previous list was very small of these lock screen clocks but now you do have the type center spectrum shape shift os clock s funny samsung colored samsung bold you have the minimal clocks the ide clock from project 404 fluid os clock is here divided lines is here so the new list of lock screen clocks is pretty impressive next up the volume panel has also been changed and you have the volume panel from posp now baked into aosp extended other than that the change log also mentions that they have added per app network isolation so if you go into an applications setting and then go into mobile data and wi-fi you can now configure whether this application has access to wi-fi data mobile data background data vpn data or if you want it to have unrestricted data usage but somehow i remember this feature being present in the previous build as well but i may be wrong next thing let us check for safety net so here it is device is not rooted i am using the latest canary build of magisk application and as you can see safety net is passing without any issues if you get the api error it is due to some issues with the latest stable magisk apk make sure you update to the canary build and 
if you want a video again the video can be found in the description of this video next thing let us go to the play store and check if the device is certified or not so you can go into settings about phone bam here it is play protect certification device is certified which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube media playback no errors picture in picture works live caption works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium next thing let us open the photos application and try to edit a picture of my favorite football star and initially you won't get the option for live caption however if you go back edit it one more time and wait for this loading bar to finish now if you go into adjust you should have the option for portrait light and there it is you can see portrait light feature is working without any issues next up let us check if hey google is working or not so as you can see hey google works with the screen turned on let us turn the screen off and ask hey google are you awake and there it is on your screen right now hey google works with the screen turned off as well then let us check for any lags in the ui and as you can see app opening animations are pretty smooth and they are pretty fast no touch issues nothing like that google feed is also there again no jitters and no lags in the google feed either let us have a look at the recents everything is smooth no jitters and no lags over here as well let us check select works without any issues screenshot works like a boss as well we can also try switching between a few applications so here it is switching between applications is smooth as well no issues in that respect either so aosp extended great rom and yes you do have dual line status bar to enable this you'll have to go into settings extensions and then you'll go into status bar miscellaneous scroll down here it is dual line status bar enable the toggle and you will be good to go so that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you